opgave, og I har løst den. I har selv holdt frugter til, I har selv holdt frugter. Jeg har tænkt over jeres videos til, hvis ikke I så også har udgivet med den tid. Hi, my name is Josefine, and I'm a teacher at the Sofa School. And my name is Aslak, I'm a teacher at the Sofa School as well. At first, when we heard about the lockdown because of the coronavirus, we thought, what did the students lose? What will they miss the most? And it's their community they have in school every day. We want the students to participate. We want the lessons to be interactive. And uh, we want to give the students a voice. And a way to do that is to use uh, Mentimeter for the students to choose what we do in class and to like get the voices heard. The chat in a live stream is very hard to um, control. It's, it's crazy when you teach 2,000 students at one time. So we closed down the chat, but we needed the students' engagement. So we sent out polls, uh, we sent out quizzes to the students to keep them engaged. Mentimeter for me is also like a visual guiding for the kids so they know where we are, what we are talking about. And I think it's important to like, when you're speaking a lot, especially in the video lessons, there's a lot of talking and, and, and you cannot, you're not in the same room. So you need like a visual guide. And that's where I think the slideshow is perfect. When we started doing the first lesson, I was a bit afraid that this, we had to guide the students. So I planned that we had to guide the students how to go on Menti, how to um, put in the code. But what happened was, before we even introduced how to do it, all the answers just arrived here. So when you are a teacher and using Mentimeter, you're, you don't have to be afraid that the students don't know how to do it. So my first advice is that you just like have to jump into it. 